Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do a Steam game refund on Windows computers. So if you've bought a Steam game, then this is going to show you how to go ahead and get your Steam refund. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest gaming tutorials. So basically you can get a refund on purchased items as long as you request a refund within 14 days and then you don't have more than two hours of playtime on a specific game. That means that as soon as you purchase the game, you've got around two weeks in order to do an automated refund and you can't have played the game for more than two hours. So that means that even if you launch the game and you're playing it for a little bit of time, you're gonna be able to get an automated refund as long as you don't play for more than two hours. So next thing I'm gonna do is to look at our Steam client here. So we're logged into Steam on Windows and what we need to do is to go into our account. So I'm gonna to go to the top here and then click onto our logged in account and then we'll click on account details. So once we get to our account details, what we need to do is to click on review purchase history and then we're gonna be able to see all of the games that we've purchased recently. So we'll click on this now and basically we have a list of all the games that we've purchased in reverse chronological order. So at the top here, I've got the game Father's Frontier and I purchased this for $24.99 and what I'd like to do is to make a refund for this. I've played it for less than two hours and it's been less than 14 days since I purchased it. So what I wanna do is to click on this purchase and then go on to the next stage. So at this stage here, we've got our Steam purchase information. We have our transaction ID, we have the amount of money that's been paid. And what I'd like to do is to get a refund. So I'll click on this, I would like a refund button. And this is gonna take us through the next stage. So you have the option here to ask them to help fix certain gameplay or technical issues. If you click on this, then you can basically explain why the game doesn't run as it should. However, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna go to this button here, which says, I'd like to request a refund and then click on this now. So here to check to whether the game is eligible for an automated refund. And it's saying here that because I've played it for less than 33 minutes, and also it's been less than two weeks since I've made the purchase, I can actually make this refund. So I'm gonna scroll down to here, and then it's gonna ask us why we want the refund. I'm gonna click this button here, it's not fun. You can actually give any reason here that you like. It doesn't really make a difference. This is just for the developer feedback. So once we're ready, we're gonna click Submit Request. So now it's saying that the request has been submitted to Steam support. And at the moment, this is still pending. However, once it is ready, it's gonna be added back to our Steam wallet. This is my current Steam wallet of 21 pound 50. Once it's been refunded, which should be in a few hours, then this should increase by 24.99. And then you'll know that it's been fully refunded. So now I've waited a little bit of time and now I can see that it says here 24.99 is pending. So if I go back to my account details and I view my purchase history, we can see here that the refund is now pending. So anyway, that is how you go ahead and issue a refund on Steam. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.